worst kept secret across the entire West Ham fan base. A lot of West Ham fans knew that Felipe Anderson was going to leave West Ham this summer. I think it was relatively obvious. I think it's been obvious for, for a fair while that Moyes doesn't quite rate him as a player. We can talk about his time at the club in a minute, but let's get on to the basics of the deal. I think there was 12 million euros or pounds left on the deal that West Ham owed Lazio. And they've now given the club 3 million, which would indicate that there's 9 million that's gone astray there. Lazio have made from this deal. That's the most frustrating thing. We'll talk about his time at West Ham. Lazio have made money from this. There's a 50% sell-on fee that West Ham will never benefit from because by the time he's got to the end of a four-year deal at Lazio, truth is he'll probably be available for little to no money. So again, West Ham have lost out in that sense. They've benefited from an investment and then regaining the same player that they let go. But let's talk about Felipe in terms of his time at West Ham. A talent, no doubt a talent, no doubt a talent. I think he struggled probably for the first month or so at the club. You know, it took him a, a while to adjust. We know the backheel goal he got against Manchester United. So we knew the type of player that we were getting. And when he got into full flight, and I know it was only for a period of a couple of games, we'll look at Crystal Palace, we'll look at Newcastle. He was phenomenal. Pace, calmness on the ball. He could probably run quicker with the ball than he could run without it. Direct, confident willing to beat players, good finisher. He had the lot. He had every probable attribute that you'd want from a West Ham player. Exciting, gets you off your seat. The, the second season, you know, I think people forget he did try and work defensively and that was probably hampering him going forward. West Ham changed slightly. We had to give a lot of protection to our fullbacks and he became more negative and he, and he came a little bit deeper and he, there's something that Felipe lost for me. Uh, confidence, momentum growing in. I think everyone thought that the second season at West Ham, he would come into his own and build on the season that he'd had previously. And all the inconsistencies that we spoke about then, we felt that they would be ironed out. The minute that Moyes comes in, and I'm not blaming Moyes, I don't think... Listen, I think Moyes actually wanted it to work. And you look at with the way that West Ham play now in terms of the counter-attack. If Felipe Anderson's in full flight, he's perfect. He genuinely is perfect. But where... I think Moyes doesn't trust him. And again, with Moyes, it's a huge thing of trust. He's defensively, he's not offering what he wants him to. And, and Felipe, in terms of an attacking intent, is inconsistent by nature. You know, he's not consistently putting in 10, 15 games of high level performances. And you look at the West Ham side this season, there's very few players that really dip below a six or a seven every game. You know, some will have an off game and then they'll go and have five, six, seven games at a consistent level. And Felipe... I don't think was really capable of reaching that. And I think a lot of Lazio fans said that that would be possibly the downfall coming to West Ham. It is a shame that we never really got to see him maintain that consistency and take his game to the next level and perform at the level that we know he's capable of. It's a shame that we spent £35 million on a player that we've lost money on, that wasn't a long-term investment, that, that couldn't really impact the side and, and improve us on the, in the long term. Uh, and it's just, and it feels like a dreadful deal. It it really does in the same way that Alaire, you but you buy him for nearly forty and then you sell him for twenty. And those two deals for me in terms of business of this club are, are absolutely horrific. And you hear rumours that Yarmolenko may be leaving now on a free transfer because of the wages that have been spent. And again, that's really disappointing from a negotiation standpoint. And you'd argue that Yarma, even though he's had injury problems, again, it, it, it's still you're not getting the full benefit of the players that we signed. So I'd, I'd like to look back fondly at Felipe Anderson and I'm sure I'll look back at the goals fondly and think of, of what could have been. But you know where West Ham are progressing now. I don't think he's a player that, that can be at the club long term. The, the concern is who's coming through the door. That is the biggest concern. And there are clear financial problems within the club from what I can see because letting these players go, owing money, trying to get wages off the bill, smells of, smells of real problems. So that is a concern. But I'll try and look back fondly at the goals. He did his time at West Ham. I wish him all the luck in the future. I hope he goes and absolutely smashes it and we get 50% of that sell-on fee. But that is it for a Felipe Anderson farewell video. I'm going to move on and I'm going to start talking a little bit about Alfonso Ariola possibly signing for West Ham, 
new number one goalkeeper, possibly long term. And then Roman Yaremchek as well from Ghent, a player that West Ham are looking at alongside Tammy Abraham. So if you did enjoy the video and you want to keep up to date with everything West Ham, subscribe to the channel. Have a look at the West Ham Way Patreon account. The link is in the description. And have a look at the West Ham Way website as well, where there are plenty of articles to get your teeth stuck into. So until next time, everyone.